Amen. Praise the Lord. Good evening from wherever you are watching from. It's another wonderful time to be in the presence of the Lord. It's Monday and we are here to listen to what the Lord has to tell us in this time and in this season. Are you ready and excited for what the Lord has in store for you today? Now, after the conference, kindly note that we'll be having a rebroadcast of the communion service. If you missed it yesterday, I'd advise that you go back and watch it as it will be on today, um, right after the communion service. We'll schedule it on the Love Arena Church platform. And I think uh, Healing Nations TV, I think Healing Nations TV should take a part in that now. Because it's usually only Love Arena Church and Flow Music. But I think three of them should take it, especially Philly Nation should take all of them in certain circumstances because we will be tapping the videos from there more. Amen. So this is the importance of keeping yourself connected to the ministry handles and um, places. Hallelujah. And it's a very beautiful thing. Once again, it's Monday. I'd like to welcome you especially to this glorious wonderful and prosperous time in the presence of the lord god bless you for being here and i believe that as you are here it's going to be a very wonderful blessing and we will enjoy ourselves in the presence of the lord as we are learning of the good news hallelujah now first of all let us pray our heavenly father who art in heaven we thank you and we bless your holy name for the opportunity that you're giving to us to be here we appreciate the fact that you have preserved us all the way to 4th December. We thank you for the life that we live. We thank you for all the things that we have. All the people that we have in our life today. It's because of you we have them. Take all the glory, take all the praise, take all the honor and thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. you may be seated wherever you are. And um, at this moment in time, we are going to be beginning the basis of the conference. Whenever we have a conference or a camp, I'd like to begin from the basis of it to show you or to give you a fair idea of why it was called upon at this season and at this time. You know, this week was way too idle. This week was for relaxation, preparing for the coming events that are going to be piling up in the next coming weeks. But I said, no, this week is too idle. And we should have even done this conference last week. But I think it has been arranged in a perfect place. Well, half of our cell ministry is gone. They are going to do more work. But for those who are still here and are yet to go, there's something important I need to talk to you about. And it's about the art of following. That's what we are talking about today. The art of following. So why did we call the... Uh, um, the, the Heart Follower Conference. So well, here is basically what or the definition that I can give you as to why we called the conference. Midweek service will be happening this week. Just take notice of that. It's the last one. Last midweek service in the week. Are you there? Yes. Last, last midweek service in the week. Tomorrow we'll be praying at the Effectual event Prayer and Praise. We are day 151. The effectual of prayer and praise ends on um, Friday. So, and that Friday too is not just going to be any common thing. You know, when we are ending our effectual of prayer and praise, it's like an allos prayer meeting. So, it's usually three hours. So, prepare yourself. Yes. I just wanted to let you know, by the way. But I want you to understand that this week is a packed week. It's a process week. Because on Wednesday as well, immediately, I no, I think I'll combine it with the midweek service. So the Sons of Adam camp will be combined with the midweek service. Then the recurrence days or the following days that are there will be for the um, rest of the services. I'm just praying that YouTube will release our channel so that we can release them there and get rid of them for now. But... We'll record the day 153, and then on 31st, we'll have a prayer on 30th into 31st. Not because it's my birthday, but we also did it last year, and I'm thinking of how we can do it this year as well. So 30th into 31st, we'll be praying, and we'll pray with that. We'll pray for an hour here 
will join in, still come again and then pray. Do you understand? Yeah. That's what we are going to be doing. I think, yes, we'll do that. Because the last time when we did that, we started around 12. We closed around 6 a.m., 7 a.m. That's when we closed. At 5, I think that was 5 hours or so. 5 hours nearing 6. Yeah. So we can do it. But today I want to talk to you about the art of following. Not following me necessarily, but the art of following and how to program your spiritual life, your Christian life, or your life as an individual to follow the right things, the right people, the right entities, and many other things of that sort. Are you listening? So, the art of following. First of all, what is following? And that is what we'll come to to understand the Heart Follower Conference. So, first of all, you need to understand the word itself, heart, and then a follower. Before you can combine both of them, because they're compound word. In this case, they're compound word. So, you need to understand both of these before you can now form up and see what it's, it's really depicting. Do you understand? So, what does hard mean? Hard is basically the definition of this. It's hard. All right. We also you can also knock on a wall like this. It's also hard. You can also knock on anything that is solid. That is hard. Now, not all solids are hard. I hope you know that. Not everything that is solid is a hard or a strong thing. And it's the same with Christians. Not all of us are hard. Not all of us are that good enough or that strong to follow the Lord to that extent. Do you understand what I'm saying? Not all of us are hard. That one, dear, let us be honest with ourselves. Amen. Not all of us are hard. Not all of us are hard. Not all of us are hard. It's the same thing with Christianity. The same way we cannot, the same way not all solids are hard. For example, we have specific things. For example, paper is a solid, right? It has joint particles according to science. So you can touch it, but it's not hard. Same goes with an umbrella. It is um, formed up or it is created to a certain extent or level of hardness. But when you go beyond that hardness, it fails. But if you knock a wall, no matter how many times you knock the wall, it's not going to go down. Until you supersede the wall with a bulldozer, a pickaxe, or something that can break into the wall. So that's what we are going to be learning about today. Because we are very much like solids and we are, across Christianity, we are like types of solids. Amen. So a hard, when we say hard, basically, it's a definition of something very solid, not willing to break. So it's not willing to go. It's not willing to break. It's not willing to go anywhere. Hard. What is a follower? A follower is somebody who follows a belief, an aim, or focus. I hope you are taking notes. If you are not taking some, take some now. Because it's only a two-day conference. There's so much that I can share with you in the next few minutes. I don't want to take much of your time. But I'll, I'll share with you what I need to share with you and what I need to get to you today before we move into scripture. We'll move to the disciples very soon. Amen. Are you there? Okay. So, a follower is somebody who is following, who has placed his or her focus on a specific belief, aim, or focus. So, that is why we have followers of God. We also have followers of content, that is YouTube and Facebook. They have followers. They follow them because of a certain aim. 
So, for example, if oh, who can I even use? Aha! Uh -huh. Everyone knows this guy, Sam Spedi, the one who started in an African home or something. It's quite interesting. Don't if there's nothing wrong with watching it, but I'm just using it as an example. So there's a certain reason why he has that many people on his page. It's for a certain aim. He has followers, people who are dedicated to his content. Why? Because they want to achieve a certain aim. To watch the video and to enjoy and to have a good laugh. That is the aim. So they are followers. So everything that the person does, they follow. They imitate. And that is why when he started, others also started along. Do you understand? When he started the African home series, then others also joined along and copied it. They've also got in some way because they've also chipped in some things that can also attract to them people that can follow them for a lifetime or for a period of time. Amen. So that is a follower, a person who is dedicated to focusing on a certain belief, a certain aim or focus. So the person's mind, everything, concentration, full concentration has been given to that thing, that focus or that aim. Are you there? So then, what is a hard follower? Some of Jesus' disciples were not hard followers. But before we go into that, a hard follower is somebody. Are you here? A hard follower is somebody who is strong or who has the strength to stand with the focus no matter what whatever situation so for example we know we can follow somebody but to what extent can we follow the person do you understand where i'm coming from to what extent can we follow the person because we can follow somebody maybe on our phones or whatever but to what extent can we follow the person for example um there was this time i heard something about an artist who had a con uh, um uh was it no uh, yeah a concert yeah and he said something about hell and then the crowd replied we will go with you i think something about going to hell or something but i heard it and then the crowd actually replied that they will go with him. Do you understand? So that should tell you how far you can follow somebody to that extent to join the person to hell. Hey, it's serious. So. No, it, apart from it being funny, it's very serious. That's hard following. But it's in the wrong place and wrong source as well. Are you here? It's in the wrong place and in the wrong source, most of all, in the wrong mind. Are you there? Yes. So everything about that following is wrong. So that's a hard follower. Now, the art of following. We are moving on into the art of following. The art of following is such that it obtains if you remain steadfast. Let me show you a certain scripture. Very quickly over here. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 58. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and the verse number 58. What does it say over there? It says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast and movable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. If you want another translation, I can show you. Let's use the Amplified Classic. It says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be firm, steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, 
always always abounding in the work of the lord always being superior excelling doing more than enough in the service of the lord knowing and being continually aware that your labor in the lord is not futile it is never wasted or to no purpose there's a song that i want us to sing right now i don't know if we should sing it or we should delay it later on because today is a lot of things it's called low i tell you a mystery it's a very nice song i think we should have some time to listen to it what do you think all right let's listen and i believe you'll be blessed The things we have done, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we must wait for men to serve the Lord. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast. Unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For your labor in the Lord, it is not in Yeah. 
Are you there? All right. So that is the song. And the definition of this is not only by the music. So listen very closely. Are you there? Listen very closely. A hard follower is the only person who will be able to understand this scripture. Let's go there. First Corinthians 15. And the verse number 58 1 corinthians 15 verse 58 it says therefore my beloved brethren be ye steadfast and movable always abounding in the work of the lord for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the lord if you are a hard follower you'd be able to understand that this is an encouragement for those who are hard followers because point one Hard followers face a lot of challenges that will question their following. Following is an act. Following is a thing on its own. When you are following somebody, you need to notice that there are certain key things that you must have in order to follow the person. Amen. First of all, you must heed to the advice that is given to you by the person. So whatever the person advises you to do, tells you to do, you don't even ask. The advice just comes. Heed to it. Do you understand? Heed to it. Listen to the advice that is given to you. Because it is important and it's of great um, import, it's of great importance for us to know that in this time and in this season, in order for us to follow somebody genuinely, here to the advice amen number two another thing is that be involved with what they are involved in yes if you want to really follow somebody genuinely be involved in what they are involved in so we'll never forget if you want to be really invested in following somebody genuinely be involved in what they are involved in when you see them going here follow them there Never let them be alone because there's always a blessing that walks around. And it's only the hard followers that obtain blessings. But that is where the devil also comes to play. Like I said, the art of following is a very, very complicated thing. So you need to pay careful attention so that I can pave out the way for you. So that if you are going to follow somebody, you genuinely know if this person is worthy of following or not. Because it is not all the time that we follow anybody we see. You have to know if you are worthy of following the person. Or if that person is worthy of you following him or her. Because you are a royal priesthood. According to the word of God. So you must not take such things lightly. You must not just play around with whatever that you follow. You must follow the right things that will direct you and lead you in the right path and in the right way. Amen. So that is it. You must notice all these things. You must notice all these things. 
So get involved with what the person is involved in. And most importantly, be involved with the person. Attach yourself to the person. I'm getting somewhere with this because you need to understand that all these things that I'm saying, if you tarry all of them, you'd find out that there is good following, there's also bad following. To everything that is good, there's also a bad side to it. Find or have that at the back of your mind that to everything that is good, there's also a bad side to it. So always get ready for a bad side. Are you there? So, get involved with the person. Attach yourself to the person. Remain intact on the person's life. At literally attack the person. If you want to follow some, attack the. Following is different from stalking. If you are stalking somebody, meaning you are sneaking around and you are monitoring their every movement, even when they go to their house, that's stalking. But when I say following, there is distance in it. But when, if you can attach yourself to the person, I mean attach yourself. Get to know the person more. The roots of the person. What gives the person this confidence, this inspiration? That is how to truly follow a person. Now, I did speak of a group of people who went to a concert of an artist and then the artist then said, they are going to hell with me and they followed. First of all, they got involved in what he was involved in. The moment they said they will follow, they got involved in it. They got involved in it. It is the grace of God and the mercy of God that will come upon and funny enough, all these people were sitting in church. Is that not is that not amazing? All these people were sitting inside the church. After saying this on Saturday, Friday, whatever day it was, then you were sitting in church. Some of them they don't go to church crap because they don't bother themselves, but they are the ones I'm even worried about. If you go to church and you really know that you've done something bad, you will ask for the mercy of God to be upon your life. You can follow something good. You can follow something bad. With the steps I just gave you to follow somebody. They got involved or they got involved with what the person was doing. So, for example, the music. That's what they got involved in. And now they got involved in a different dimension. Which is going to hell. Because they said it. They said it. I'm not saying it that they will go to hell. They said that they will go to hell. They stood there and shouted. All in the name of we've seen an artist on stage. And where else would it be apart from Africa? <laughs> I'm just saying. It would have been anywhere. Do you understand? Because following does not really regard of whether the location is a nice place or not it does not really take notice of those things amen are you there yes so that's following for you are you there that's following for you so you need to understand that So they followed and then now they got involved with the person. So whatever the person does, they instantly follow. So the person says, oh, I'm feeling sick. Then they'll send um, gifts. What do they call it? Is it gifts? Uh, ham- uh, yeah, gift hampers. Get well soon. This, that. Sending messages everywhere. Pray for this. Pray for this. You, you get the whole point. So that is genuinely following a person. But it is not the right entity to follow. When it comes to God, or when it comes to Christianity, when you are following a person, you follow the life that the person is living, not the person himself. Because once you follow the person, you are idolizing. You understand? Let me show you a scripture and why I think you are idolizing. If you don't agree with me, then we'll go into the word. It's in, I think it's in the book of Psalm. It's in the book of Psalm. We'll go there right now and then we'll look for it. Psalm 
Hold on. Now, Jesus used this in a reference. That's not the exact thing I'm looking for. I, I can't tell. Hold on. Okay, I'll use this only reference that I have. John 10, 34. Let's go there. It says, Jesus answered them, and Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, ye are gods? So, when you follow a person too much, especially the person himself, you start to idolize. That was the mistake of the people that were following him. Or the, that is the artists. Do you understand? They idolized. Because we are gods. That is why we have the dominion that we have. Because of the dominion, that's what gives us the ability to become gods. That is why when you command something into place in the realm of the spirit, and you know the dominion that you have, you have the knowledge that when I command this into place, it is meant to happen as A, B, and C. That is how it's meant to happen. Nothing more, nothing less. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So if you have that knowledge that it's meant to happen in this manner, it's meant to happen in this way, there's no way to know when it will happen like that, just like that. You know yourself. You know the power that you can exercise that is done for you. That's it. Praise be unto the Lord. So that's hard following. Or that is following, basically, in its manner. But when we talk of hard following, we are talking about an, ex, um, an exponent or an addition of one more thing. An addition of the same thing being done except much more extra. Jesus had disciples. Some of them followed, but they were not hard. Some of them were not hard, therefore they left. Some of them were not hard. And as they were not hard, they left. After Jesus Christ, the man who they followed, he left. Then they also went to lead the same life and to keep it running. Do you understand? Yes. So that's following in its basic form. But in your process of following, have one thing in mind. Do not idolize the person you are following. If you are following the person, one main reason or one of your main aims or focuses of following a person should be that you are following the character, the life of the person. But not the person himself. I said get closer to the person to discover how the person is, right? That is there. That is also there. It's not contradicting. Getting to know the person isn't idolizing them. So when you say, oh, I love this person, mean you, you, there's a character or a certain ability, a certain thing they portray to bring forth that love that you have for them, that encourages you to follow them everywhere they go. Do you understand? Yes. So take notice of that. Do not idolize the person. There's a song again. We are not singing it, please. There's a song again that says, Oh Jesus, help me. Am I making a mistake? Because I like talking to my beloved more than I talk to you. Oh Jesus, please help me. To love you at least as as much as I um love my beloved. No, 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 no. That's not the one. Let me check there. There's something about idol in the song. That's what I want to get for you, so that you know that 
in the even in the process of loving someone you don't need to idolize them ye are gods so be careful of what and how you follow the person in the character of the sense that you are following the person like i said following is a very delicate thing so take very very cautious notice of it are you there um i think yeah i will be calling you aha uh-huh. is this oh jesus help me i feel like calling my beloved i haven't finished praying or reading my bible i've not had my bath i've not brushed my teeth but i feel like calling him oh god help me to seek you first make you my number one i don't want my beloved to become my idol so you see in the process of this song this song was not written by me it was written by first love music they usually bring all the songs that we have but you need you need to understand that you see even out of all the love that the person has for the beloved you don't need to idolize the person that should be your number one aim if you are following somebody do not idolize them following is not idolizing amen following is not idolizing following a person somebody Amen. It's not idolizing them. You are not meant to idolize because ye are God. Why do you think most of us are beautiful and handsome? Because ye are God. Do you understand? Do you understand where I'm coming from? Ye are God. So that's when you are beautiful and handsome. So I can just imagine. You can't even. That's why the Lord's face is so bright. Because. You cannot, you, you just can't picture his beauty. It is more than light. That's why it just shines. Because if you see it, oh, come on. That is why you see the image and the likeness of God in us. The leaders. That is why you see the image and likeness of God in a person. Because they are gods. That is God and beauty distributed among many. So everybody is beautiful in their way. Nobody is ugly. Just because somebody has a disability, that does not mean they are ugly. Just because somebody's face is like this, that does not mean they are ugly. There is somebody in the world that loves them. Following is not idolizing. Take clear notice of this. Following is not idolizing. Okay? Be very careful. Because many fall prey to it. Many fall prey to it. Or you don't know. Many fall prey to it. So don't let it, don't fall prey to it. As I've shared it with you, don't fall prey to it. To idolizing somebody all in the name of following don't follow them because our God is a jealous God he wants one person to follow him and follow him like that without distraction It's the same where a man and a woman come into the course of a relationship eh? when a man and a woman come into the course of a relationship Are you there? The cause of a relationship whereby the woman does not want the woman does not want anybody the man to follow any other person other than her and the um wait I said the woman right and the man doesn't want the woman to follow any other person than him. So that is how it is. God doesn't also want to, to follow any other person than him. It should be him and him alone. Because he knew that ye are God. When he said we are created. Let me show you the scripture. Hmm. Let me show you the scripture. There are a lot of scriptures that talks about image. Image. 
but in the very beginning he spoke of image before the um the the human structure was formed up genesis 1 26 and then we'll move on to 27 amen it's near the scripture i always love to emphasize on it says and god said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion okay so look at this why would he give you dominion if he knew that you weren't his version of him do you understand what i'm saying why would he give you dominion if he knew that you weren't his version his version of you weren't the version of him you are the version of god on the face of the earth and you need to know that so once you are created in the image and the likeness of god everything that god owns that jesus christ owns because of jesus christ we are joint heirs with god we are joint heirs with christ jesus and we are joint heirs with god therefore everything is us glory to god so we need to understand we need to understand these things and make sure that they sink into our heads because it's very urgent it's very important for us to notice so what did he say it then confirmed the game that it is done it says so god created man in his own image in the image of god created he him male and female created he them are you there so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. So that is just a summary of the human creation. But what I want you to notice there is the image. It was confirmed. So now that you are in the image of God, you carry the beauty of God. Let nobody take that the uh, that thought away from you that you are not beautiful or handsome. You are beautiful and handsome in the eyes of God, if you don't know. So be on man. God loves you the way He made you. Have that in the back of your mind. God loves you the way He made you. We don't follow a person based on looks. If you follow a person based on looks, you're not really following. You are following by vision, by lust. Because you are following the person by looking at so of atana there are characteristics that we look at there's two aspects to that physical and there's also just an aspect for the spiritual so out of following is a big topic do you see now yes the physical you can look at the character the life pattern the physique of the person and follow the person however Another way too is that you can look at the beauty of the person. Oh, the way the person expresses his or himself, or this is that and that, and many other things, or last, especially with men and women. Or example, boys and girls. Today's boys cannot resist seeing but us. Maka maka. They can't that is following by last and eventually that is what will lead to your downfall somebody will say so this something followed by last surely why not surely surely he did women are created in a different way i explained this in the camp go and listen to it Know how they are before you step into that world. Before you follow and be misled. My advice to you, a word to the wise is enough. Are you listening? A word to the wise is enough. The art of following is a very big topic. I've left you with so many points for you to take. But one thing I always tell you is that follow the right people. 
follow the right people. With all that I've shared with you, when all was said and done, follow the right people. Follow the right people. Follow the right people. Follow the right people. Because you can just follow anybody and you'll be okay. Nothing will change. Nothing will change. Nothing will change. No kochaki. Yes. But depending on the person you are following is what will change. Are you there? So you can follow anybody. You can decide that the following that you are also following to it will change or not change your life. There are many aspects to this, and I'll share this more with you tomorrow. But I believe you understand the basis of what we are doing here now. Yes. So you can follow, and it can you can decide if it will impact your life or not. At times, too, you don't have control over that. And that is where you should get suspicious about the following you are following. If it is a good force that is pulling you or a bad one that is where i say follow the right people how do you know how to follow the right people assess what did i say assess think before you act don't just follow anyone because oh this and that no no no, no. we don't follow like that if not always you will fall into damnation follow the right thing are you hearing me follow the right people follow the right people assess think assess the person's life is this person's life the good thing to follow is it the right life should i follow the characteristics of this person should i not follow and at times before you follow somebody, pray about it. At times too, there's not really a need to pray. It's the Holy Spirit that will tell you, follow this person. At times we can be through somebody who can come and tell you, follow this person. Because that person will be the pathway to your life. And that person will lead your life in the upright and the right way of life. It will arrange your life in a much more beautiful and a prosperous way. Do you understand what I'm saying? The art of following. Follow the right people. Follow the right entities. There are some people they shouldn't have been in your life, but you've allowed them to enter your life. You have permitted them to enter your life, to ruin your life. And you have allowed it. So it's on you. Some people are not meant to be in our lives. We follow people, they followed us. And they are now there. I will not say anybody is purposeless or anybody is useless. Because I've shared with you before that nobody is useless. They may be useless in a way to you, but to God and in terms of dominion, they can never be useless. In the course 90, loss 1. Are you listening? Yes. Nobody is useless. Some people are not meant to be in our lives. Because everybody is for somebody. Are you hearing me? So some are not meant to be your lives. But following. The art of following is what got us where we are. So from today, assess your life. Think about your life vividly. But is it the right person? Is it the right entity that I'm following? Are you hearing me? Is it the right entity that I'm following? Or is it the wrong entity? Which is which? Which one am I following? Which one am I following? Assess. Think vividly before you begin to follow anybody. That's all that I'll leave you with. If you want to know the right people to follow, think vividly about the person, the life of the person. And the, like I said, 
get closer, get as close as you can to the person to discover who they really are. Then you know your stance. At times, it gives you a reason to assess well, number one, and then it gives you a basic understanding of whether to follow or not to follow. I'll share with you on this more tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a different topic, but it is a combination of the act of following. Stand to your feet. That is the end. I'll share with you on more tomorrow. But at this moment in time, wherever you are, lift up your hands and begin to thank the Lord. Begin to praise Him wherever you are. Begin to worship Him and give Him all the glory and adoration with thanksgiving. Manta gira libo shekini and esterila bashanta di edisefrele. Mando rubro sile mante di ediza rabrande sefrele. Lika dance rabrande. Radoza la bra inegezo rabra shalekestule madante. Legro makata libo kashtele bende. Father Lord who art in heaven, we thank you and we praise your holy name for all the wonderful things that you've done for us, the knowledge that you've given to us to know this truth to survive. We love you, we adore you, we give you all the glory and all the adoration. For you are the only one who will follow to the very end. In Jesus' name, Amen.